Echo, ask Sugarmate what my glucose reading is. It's 111 and steady. Last check five minutes ago. It's three higher than your previous reading. What's up everybody? How to get your glucose readings from Amazon Alexa. Very simple. So first things first, what we're going to do is you're going to pull up a browser and you're going to type in the following web address, sugarmate.io. You can do it up top or in a search engine. It's going to pull up Sugarmate. You're going to visit the site. This is what you're going to see. I'm clicking on the sign in tab because on the bottom left hand corner, you're going to notice sign up. If you don't have this account, this is where you would sign up. Use the email address that you also use your Dexcom G6 register through. This is the email address inside of your Dexcom app. Once you've done that, you're going to sign in to the SugarMate app. Eventually, if you're new to this, this will catch up and start reporting data. If you've already been here, you're familiar with what this is. What you're looking at, this is the Android version of the web page. You can actually create a share link of this as well for people to look at. That's something else, but it's in the settings. So now that we're in here, top left hand corner, step two. First, you created the account at SugarMate. Step two, drop down, go to settings. You're going to scroll down to add data source. Tap on that pink button. Connect to Dexcom right there. Okay, so basically what this is doing is this is going to create a link that you're going to input in your share section of your Dexcom. So here we go. This is mine. So I, what I would do is I would then take this, this address and I would go to the share section of your Dexcom app where you invite people to see your readings. You can Google that if you don't know where it is. You would input this email address in there and hit submit. Once you've done that, you're going to come back here and click I did it. Right? It's going to have you wait and register. Once you've done that, you're going to go down in the top left hand corner, the three bars on the app to open the menu. You're going to go to other devices. Now, before I proceed, you have to have an Amazon Alexa and you have to have yourself signed in on the device that you're installing all of this from. You need to make sure that you are also signed into your Amazon account, um, your Alexa account. Okay. So you have to have an Amazon Alexa. You have to have an account through a device. You have to be signed into it. Then you're going to tap the icon Amazon Alexa. It's going to take you there. You're going to sign in. Now I am already an account holder, so I'm going to fast forward to that. This is what it's